The story so far. One of the chief ways in which heat energy moves is in the form of waves. Sources of heat, such as the sun, or a fire, or a stove, send out these waves in all directions, as if each wave were the spoke, or to use the Latin word, the radius of a wheel. This is why this third kind of heat transfer is called radiation. And now, the radiation spectrum. In warm weather, you seem to feel hotter if you're wearing black than if you're wearing white. Mm -hmm. Is this just your imagination, mm -hmm. or are black things really warmer than white things? What could color have to do with heat? What is color, anyway? Why are tomatoes red? Or oranges orange? Or buttercups yellow? Or green peas green? Or blueberries blue? Or violets violet? Where do all these colors come from? They come from light itself. White light contains all the colors. See for yourself. Go into a dark room. Open a chink in the blinds and let a narrow beam of light in. Now hold a glass prism in the light beam. Look at the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. That's what white light's made of. When it shines all these colors on a tomato, the tomato absorbs each of the colors, except red, which it reflects. That's why tomatoes look red. Oranges do the same. They absorb all the colors, except orange, which they reflect, so oranges look orange. Buttercups only reflect yellow, so they look yellow. The same thing applies to green peas. Blueberries. And violets. Now if you mix all these colors together again, you get white light once more, because white is simply a combination of all the colors. Your white suit appears white because it doesn't absorb any of the colors. It reflects them all. On the other hand, your black suit appears black because it absorbs all the colors. It doesn't reflect any of them. Black is simply the absence of any color. But what's all this got to do with black being warm? And white being cool? Well, when the sun radiates waves of heat energy, these waves come in many different forms, which make up a whole band, or spectrum, of energy waves from radio waves at one end to X-rays and gamma rays at the other. Some of this heat energy is visible. These are the light waves made up of all the different colors, but these only take up a little bit of the radiation spectrum. The rest of the spectrum isn't visible at all. There is, for example, some invisible radiation just beyond or beneath the red. Since the Latin word for beneath is infra, this is called infrared radiation. Now most of the sun's radiant heat energy comes to us in the visible and the infrared parts of the spectrum. And that's why black is warm, because it not only absorbs the heat energy of the visible colors, but in doing so, it also tends to absorb a lot of the heat energy of the invisible infrared radiation as well. Conversely, white is cool, because it not only reflects the heat energy of the visible colors, but in doing so, it also tends to reflect a lot of the heat energy of the invisible infrared radiation. So now you know that color really does have something to do with heat. It isn't just your imagination. You also know what lies at the end of the rainbow. It isn't a pot of gold. It's infrared radiation.